Dick Salute one time. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody pulling. I'm still mad this mother won't rotate for me. I'm still heated about that, man. Let me see something. It ain't fixing it, but it's all to the G, though. I got to put this mud to the side because I got to get the, I got to get the incense rolling. You know what I'm saying? Got to get the incense rolling, so. We got the lavender this time, you know what I'm saying? We got the lavender. Move Roll much piece of love. It's more to the side for a little second. I'm about to, about to turn it back over. Gotta get the incense rolling first. You know, that's my thing. You know, I gotta have the incense rolling first. I ain't even gonna take this up out of that now. Man, much peace and love to everybody, man. Hope everybody been doing good, man. Shout out to everybody pulled up. Bless up, bless up. Much peace and love. You know what I'm saying? I want to start off talking about that boy. Yeah, I was trying to set it before I went live. Just couldn't run across it, man. So whatever. Got to get the lemon juice going. Yeah. Yeah, first thing I wanted to talk about was that boy Dan Calloway, man. How many people done heard about Dan Calloway, man? I remember first hearing about him in two in 2016. That was the first time I heard about him or whatever. You know, I started hearing a, a bunch of stuff about him or whatever. And start seeing some videos about him. Get Dan Calloway his flowers, man. I gotta get Dan Calloway his flowers. I did not like Dan Calloway at one point, man. But the reason I did like Bang Calloway it wasn't because of uh like uh I was like on some Pan African shit or nothing like that. I ain't never been on that. I I, I ain't never understand that or uh really know it was like a thing that was taking off or nothing like that. But uh you know into the into the Bible and stuff like that what made me have a problem with Dane back then, man. It took a, it took a little while for me to understand what Dane was on and you know where he was coming from with it or whatever. I think the biggest thing when he was talking when he was talking about uh, the slave, you know, the slave story being told in a uh, being told in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So when I was, I was like, man, I don't know, bro. I ain't like that, man. I ain't like Dane Calloway. You know what I'm saying? I did not like Dane Calloway. I ain't want to hear nothing about it. You know what I mean? I just looked at it like, you know, as far as uh, like um, if you talk anything about Native American, anything, I already know you talking about like Mongolians and stuff. Like, I ain't want to hear none of that. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, what I mean, afterwards though, tripping off of it and doing research. You know, they actually did, you know, do a uh, slave trade from the Caribbean, slave trades from America to Europe, slave trade back and forth from America to the Caribbean, the so Caribbean Haiti to America, took a bunch of Americans to Haiti, to Jamaica, and they was doing a lot of this, you know what I'm saying? The first flock, the first trip actually went to Europe to meet the princess, you know what I'm saying? To meet the queen, I mean. I forgot, I forgot her name, but yeah, you know, now I don't know, like, slavery shit neither, you know what I'm saying, just going over there, taking some things over there, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, going to meet the queen, you know what I mean, and shit like that, and uh, actually, uh, 
being took to Libya too. You know what I'm saying? So when I learned all that, I was like, damn, you know what? I don't understand it. It wasn't just Africa. You know what I'm saying? It was Africa. People been took from Africa. It was all over. The slave trade wasn't just like everybody coming from Africa that put all around the world. It wasn't like that. It was totally in reverse. Where it was like a lot of us coming from America. You know what I'm saying? And then I've been knowing that it's so-called black people all over the world. I've been knowing that in every land. You know, I just... I ain't trip off of it for real, you know what I'm saying? I was just thinking in a biblical mindset of like a Hebrew Israelite thing, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I was thinking about it. But no, nah, it's actually indigenous people in every land, you know what I'm saying? In every land, it's original people in every land. Like in Asia, there are original black people from Asia, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, if you don't know about Jamaica, if you thinking... They came there on slave ship. No, nah, Jamaica got their own swag. They got their own thing. Haiti got their own thing. And there's been plenty of wars, you know what I'm saying? And they had fought, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, others were sold too. It was a lot of white slaves. People don't know about that. People don't know about the white slaves. It was a lot of white slaves. You know what I mean? We owned a lot of slaves too. We owned a lot of slaves. It's just like... Uh, the way people think it is just like you getting your ass kicked. It was a lot of business. And, and and people just don't understand, like, just thinking that you just get your ass whooped and, you know, no, nah, it was business. It was a lot of people who heard they had opportunities to do certain things and get some bread. You know what I mean? But as long story short on that, you know what I'm saying? I was just giving Dan Calloway as a flowers. I had a problem with him, you know what I'm saying? Big in the slave trade. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. People don't uh, really trip off of what uh, Haiti went through. That's why Haiti still own that shit. Haiti still running. You know what I'm saying? Because they was using voodoo to fight off to fight off the French and shit like that and do all like so they kind of battled through it and got to hang on to theirs. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this was happening all over the world, you know what I mean? And then, you know, the history of the Moors and how they actually taught the people who came from the caves, the caucus, and taught them how to bathe themselves, you know what I'm saying? Taught them how to dress, clean themselves up, you know what I'm saying? The Holocaust was deep too, man. But you know, it's a long story, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to get that out there though, man, because it's I elevated more since going to Africa. I learned a lot in Africa, too. We used to have long talks, bro. We used to have long talks. Like, they actually corrected me on a lot of things, on how I was thinking about things, you know what I mean? They actually told me about a lot of the history from out there. You know what I mean? They ain't never tell me about, like, uh, they had told me about uh, a couple of, um, a couple of their ancestors. They had they had got taken, but it wasn't like no big grand thing. It was like you know, a few here, a few there. You know what I'm saying? Go and do their thing. You know, go and take the job, go take the mission. But you please, please believe, man. The war would have been crazy if you thinking at in every area just that damn week. They just go take your ass, snatch you up. And you know what I'm saying? Just fuck you over. How that make you look, man? But with them putting out their kind of history like that, you know, having us in that mindset, and then just tell you to turn around and just take you with DNR, search your records, search your family records. What that say? You know what I'm saying? This is another thing for, for a motherfucker to just say, oh, if you black, you from Africa. Africa have tribes. I remember talk, uh, talking to... Um, I remember talking with a, uh, with one of the Bissa brothers, and he was talking to me. Actually, we was on a, a phone event. We was on a, a phone call event. It was like, it was like maybe seven of us on the phone at one time or whatever. But the bro, he was just telling us about, you know, what I'm saying the different tribes of Burkina Faso, and you know, up up to Benin too. You know what I mean? But once upon a time, it was not no Burkina Faso. 
I forgot what name he had told me, but it wasn't Burkina Faso. It wasn't like these country names. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't country names. It was just tribes. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Barbados. It was tribes. It's a lot of things we don't understand about uh about tribes. They never talk about those that fall back. Thank, thank you. That's what I'm saying. We won, we won, bruh. It was, it was going down. This is why they did a bunch of peace treaties with us in America, but they broke them. They broke all the peace treaties because we was on their ass. So they had to turn around and be like, let's make a peace treaty. Peace. Peace, man. Let's let's uh let's make peace. And then they make a deal and we like, all right, but then they break it. You know what I'm saying? It's been happening. You know what I mean? It's been happening. Some places they was able to overcome and just keep on going forward and messing up the mind. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me read a couple of comments. Do you feel like JT did you wrong in a way the soul like what? Nah. <clears throat> I, I feel like I did myself wrong, you know what I'm saying? Because um, overall, you know, I really didn't have to buy the land from him like before I came out there. That's what I really did. I put down bread on the land before I had even came out there or whatever. But I had so much stuff going on. I wasn't nowhere around JT, you know what I mean? If I would have been kicking it with him all the time, I could I could probably be saying something else, but I, I was never with him. I was always... Way somewhere else. He ain't had no time to be around me. I ain't had no time to be around him. And I was doing my thing. So it was like, I only saw him a couple of times since I was out there. Just for a short, a short little period of time. And the whole time I was out, out there in Burkina Faso, I was way away from him. You know, it wasn't nothing about the land. I didn't even care about the land once I was in the village. Because I was up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when he wanted to... Um, when he wanted to uh, talk to people about transferring the land, nah, man, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling the uh, transferring the land thing. I was, I was cool where it was at in, in Burkina Faso. But I, I say the only wrong thing out of it is, you know, just hearing about how he sold all the land. You know, what I mean, those who did transfer their shit, they transferred, but the rest of the land pretty much got sold to this and that. You know, I'm like, damn, you could have, you could have. Uh, Especially me, cause you he could have got in contact with me real quick. You could have could have threw a nigga that little change back, bro. It wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, though, nah, he was, he was cool for the most part, man. He was. I know. I, I know everybody pissed off at him, though. Them motherfuckers pissed off at him, though, boy. They pissed off at him, man. I was in. Uh, I ain't in Africa right now. I ain't in Africa right now. I'm in America right now, but I was in the, the last spot I was in was Ethiopia. Yeah, that was the last spot I was in, man. Ethiopia, and it was it was nice out there, you know what I'm saying? It was different. They got the best planes too. I love riding on their planes. But you know what I'm saying? Like I was telling them, I had <clears throat> I had popped up on in there cuz Cuddy Live, uh, I think it was like two days ago. And uh, I think uh AT and Tim had Went live that same day. I didn't even know he was live. I had just seen him arguing up on Cuz Cuddy, uh, little comment board. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get back to the comment, but I had just seen him arguing up on the comment board. You know what I mean? I ain't uh talk about it or whatever, but I'm just like, I did. I did on AT and Tim uh little page. I seen that he had went live, so I was just telling him to me. It's like, uh, I ain't got no size and nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know nothing about nothing for me to be putting my two cents in on it or whatever. But it is funny, though. I ain't going to cap, man. I ain't going to cap. I was, <laughs> I was telling them, like, the things that they say are just back and forth. Like, you know, cuz, cuz, cuz. I, I stopped seeing uh, at and Tim coming. I guess that's when he went live himself. You know what I'm saying? But I had just seen him, like, not comment no more because Cuddy up in the damn uh, live, like, at and Tim. I'm like, man, this nigga is tripping, bro. Hey, 
it's, it's comedy to me, though. It's kind of comedy. It's a little confusing because I don't know what's going on with it. So that's just the way I take it. Like, I tell you, I ain't got no, no sides in it or nothing like that. I don't know nothing about it. But, you know, I just wanted to put the names up there because I know these things will come around and just rapping about how things been on my take on things. But, yeah, as far as uh, – as far as JT, man, like I had said last live, and I actually said a couple lives, you know, it's a little different as far as how I was handling shit, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was crazy. I, I had just found out not too long ago how he sold the land and everything like that, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, it was crazy, man, overall, you know, depending on how, how you looking at it. You know, it's kind of crazy. It was like, that was something new. So let's show you how new it is to me. I didn't know he sold the land, you know what I'm saying? It was even crazy when I heard Chris Cuddy had some problems with him and the things that they went through. I'm like, damn, it was like that, bro. To say no one was sent to buy his land from JT and Africa. <laughs> hey, I ain't, know, I ain't even know JT neither. You know what I'm saying? I was uh I was learning JT before I had before I had came before I had came to Africa and uh I had did a DNA test or whatever and had just went back to uh Burkina Faso Bissa. Hey man, if anybody take a DNA test, man, and it come back and it say Burkina Faso, have y'all heard of anybody that uh came back Mossy? It seemed like everybody there, I know they did the test or whatever. It's like everybody just came back for Burkina Faso Bissa. I, I found that a little strange, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I ain't know nothing about Burkina Faso neither. You know what I mean? So I was looking that up. I'm like, let me see who I heard. And that's the first time I had heard of JT. I ain't never heard of JT. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't grew up on none of his music or nothing like that. I had learned he was rapping. But then... uh I say it was the movie, man. It was that uh, Snow on the Bluff. You know what I'm saying? Snow on the Bluff, yeah. So I ain't know nothing about, you know, him being from the Bay Area. You know, I ain't know nothing about nothing that went down in the Bay. I had I had learned about him getting into it with Tupac one time or some Another guy, too, or something out there in Cali. And, you know, then the issue. But I... I I wouldn't want problems to chase me around. Though. It's like, dang, it, it just, hey, but to each their own, man. But, yeah, I ain't even know him, though. You know what I'm saying? So i say if I had seen some stuff like that or whatever, then I probably, I probably would have held off on it. <clears throat> but I was foolish for doing it. I should have went first, then thought about it if I wanted to go that route. But then I wouldn't have had to go that route because I could have just – you know, so I could have just bought something while I was out there. You know what I'm saying? They say JT has land in New Jersey. Would you buy again? I got land in America. I got a whole lot of land in America. Yeah, I got a lot of land in America. Yeah, my family originally from America. You know what I'm saying? We got a... Uh, we got land. We got land in Mississippi. We got land in Missouri. We got land in Illinois. A lot, my family got a lot of land. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got to buy no land in America. All I got to do is go down to the city halls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I trust, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you talking about... Uh, I didn't know if he was talking about... I thought... I think he got, I think he got something called Charger to the Game. Do we got a film or something called Charger to the Game? But that's real talk, though. Charge to the game, man. Like, it is what it is. My what, what, uh, what, What's coming from me, though, it ain't the same as everybody. Everybody talking bands, bands. You know, I just came out of one little band. But I made that back so quick. Like, I made it back so quick, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I wasn't really much piece of love. I wasn't, right, man. But if, if, if it was like five bands, ten bands, twenty bands, I'd probably be real upset, too, and be pushing the issue, like... Like they doing and real upset. I'll probably be on there too, but that little one band, man. I go through a band, like, I go through bands, like, like, in the, in the week, two weeks, going through bands, you know what I'm saying? Gas, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bills, you know what I mean? All type of shit, you know what I mean? Five kids. 
food, you know what I mean? Yeah, I only I only pay I paid a I paid a low bar because the way he had his pricing set up, the way he had his pricing set up, it was like depending on how much uh land you was trying to get. You know what I'm saying? How much how much, you know what I mean? So I just was like, I only need something big enough, you know what I'm saying, just to build on, man. I don't need nothing stupid, crazy big, you know what I mean? So I just got a simple uh a little simple thing, you know what I mean? And I came out of a band total. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, so you know, like shit, I came out of so many bands in Africa. I came out the band at the band at the band, bought a car, bought two motorcycles. I was paying rent in Africa too. You know what I mean? Paying for the phone, paying for food. You know what I mean? Like, so I would drop a band at the band. I wasn't even thinking about the land. That, that I had got from him, and then I dropped bands on the whole other land. But the better thing about that is I got the, I got the paperwork for that one. You know what I'm saying? Now I got the official. I had been thinking about do I want to sell it up, but I've been thinking uh, 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 thinking about doing some um, some business things out of there, and then building a little uh, a little crib on the spot, but doing some business out of there where I could, you know. Uh, grow crops, you know what I'm saying? They was heavy on the corn. They really wanted that corn out there, so and I was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, build me up some little crops, get a little cool little crib spot, and then run business inside of the spot. I've been kind of thinking about that. I could really do something with that, you know what I'm saying? They say, set up America's for war in Ghana. They say, do you believe that, Boko? Rim is setting up. Hey, I done heard about some bad things that happened out there, man. I done heard about a whole village getting torn down. You know what I mean? But I don't know nothing about uh what's what's been going on lately and I don't even know his name. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know who that is. You know what I mean? But I have heard about a whole American village out there with brothers and sisters. From America and built up a whole village. They had their shit going on. Things stocked up. They tore all of it down. I mean, and you got to think about the bad family. Shout out to them. They've been going at it for a long time, bro. I was watching them in like 2019. They steadily kept getting their walls torn down, their roofs torn down. They kept getting into it. They was getting in fights out there with them and shit like that. Uh, Somebody else had died, or Kathy was going through it out there. Everybody saw, so we just go ignore that. But that's why I was like, this is the downfall about it, man, because don't nobody, it was a comment too, you know what I mean? It was a comment like, y'all just talk about the good shit. No, I don't. I was out there talking shit about shit. You know, I was out there, I was. I had plenty of arguments with them. I ain't never argued with JT or Cuz Cuddy or none of them. I was arguing with them. I, was, I had plenty of arguments with them out there and shit they was doing, trying to tell them how things were, especially in the village. You know, so I kept having arguments. This how this how it's getting played. JT had a bunch of arguments too. JT had a bunch of arguments with them in the capital. A bunch of fights with them, a bunch of arguments. And I had I got told uh from them on how JT was uh having arguments with them, but the way they was telling it was just like, oh, he was tripping, he was tripping, or he was just wild or whatever. I don't really know what the situation was about, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you ain't finna just be going and floating in the daisies and nah, it's real life, bro. You gonna be going and you gonna have problems. You just better be aware of where you're going and how things operate in them sections, you know what I'm saying? The rivals too, they're in the game. Oh yeah, I, th I heard about them, but I don't know necessarily about all this situation. Take me, boy. That's fucked up for somebody to make you think that you could go out to Africa and your life could change, bro. And this could be your life gonna change a little bit, but it's not gonna be like you going out there and you could be at peace all the time and all good. But no, they could be trying to come out of money. They could be, be trying to scam you. They could be trying to do things they way and they kind. Africans do this very well, bro. They play the game where uh, uh they might laugh and uh no, nah, but they understand what they do. They know what they be doing, bro. It's, they try to do a quick finesse, man. They do that a lot, bro. 
So you got to stay on your toes. You ain't let nobody in your hood do it. You ain't let nobody in America do that. You know, niggas die every day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, I didn't even see that comment say, uh, is, is JT legit or fraud? Well, I don't know how to really put it that like how to put that. Cause you could say he was fraud, but he actually did have the land. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So did you could say he was legit, but some people feel play out of their money. So it's like a kind of a two-way street with it. You know what I'm saying? He a legit nigga that do some frauds. Let's put it like that. <laughs> he, he, he moved legit with it. And then pull some finesses in there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a, it's a finesse all the way around. Like, say you go out to Africa, right? And you thinking your life better, or you thinking you done did a good change, but you paying rent. You paying rent, bro. You finna go out there and pay rent, water bill, electric bill. And you can't get no job. You better come out with there with the bag or you better have some rolling. So come on, bro. Like, hi, like, you know, come on now. You make it think. Make, I, I even know people they be getting money from back home and they be needing they peoples to help them shoot them some money, man. Nah, that ain't the play for me, bro. Like, no disrespect on it though. But you know, just think of how things rolling and think of how things is, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that that's my negatives, you know. They do steal, they steal, they will. You know how many times they warned me. This is not me talking about them. This is me talking about what they told me. They told me a million times about how much they steal, how much they got their bike stolen before, on um, how to really lock your gate and then get you a, a lock a lock to put on the gate. You know, they taught me all that. You know what I'm saying? No, you got to lock your bike up like this. I remember when I got my first bike and I left that mug outside, just leave it outside, man. He came to the house. He was like, man, no. No, take this, take the bike, put it in the house. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, put it in the house. I was like, all right, then I start putting the bike in the house. I guess it's that serious, man. Yeah, it's really that serious. They be stealing, boy. Do you feel safe without a gun to potential? I, I took my gun with me. Yeah, I took my pole with me, you hear? Yeah, I took, I took, I took it with me, you know what I'm saying? I was out there with it. They had just took my uh they had just took my bullets in New Jersey. But uh, I was telling Cuz Cuddy about that, but he was letting me know. They, uh, I don't know if I ran across it or paid attention to it while I was out there, but he, he let me know they got some gun shops out there now. So I'm pretty sure if Burkina Faso got some gun shops, that Ghana got some. So I, I definitely take the stick with me. Say, would you feel safe without it, though? I mean, I would. Uh, I feel in danger without it because they go have a stick. They they got pipes, man. They got pipes, man. Keep them sticks, you know. They keep them. They, they got some big ones too. Everywhere I went in Bikini Faso, they, they was out with the stick. They had them. They was out there just doing random road stops, checking people, uh, checking people, um, you know, licenses and they license plates and shit like that. Doing random stops. And they got a fat ass K on them. You know what I'm saying? Why they doing the stops? And then them just out there want to just check paper. Now they got K's out there. Everywhere you turn. And they out there, they keep them rolling on the back of the trucks, making their way through the town. About five or six of them on the back of the truck with K's. Yeah, they got them sticks. So yeah. How you bring up uh cause it's in my, in my name. So they let it, they let it go through. And uh they gave me a um they had gave me a paper for a tag for it. So I'd be able to take it with me. I ain't say nothing about my shells first. You know what I'm saying? I made it through with the shells and everything. Then when I got to New Jersey and then it went through the x-ray, then it was like, damn, what's this on the x-ray? I'm like, shit, that's my stick, you know what I'm saying? Then they took me to the side. The white boys just wanted my bullets. Oh god, the white boys got my bullets. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted my bullets, bruh. The white boys wanted them bullets. I think I think uh, the biggest problem for me 
if I would have went out there with regular shells, they probably would have let me through. I was going out there with hollow tips. And I, was, <laughs> I was going out there with them hollow tips, boy. Yeah, they snatched them motherfuckers. Yeah, they snatched them. I'm just like, shit, man, take them, man. I don't give a damn shit. Take them. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get out to Africa real quick. You know what I'm saying? You can take the hollow tips, man. Go ahead, man. They try to have an extensive talk with me. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my gun, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good then. I got my heat. Yeah, I was out there in Burkina Faso with the heat. You know what I mean? But while I was riding around, I ain't riding around with the heat. I just mostly had a little pocket knife or something like that. Because I used that for different stuff. Like, you know, cutting stuff open or cutting little food or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Different uses. I ain't really have no use for no... No gun out there at the time, like like I had to watch for ops or something. But it was cool to be in the crib with it though, or whatever. That'd definitely have motherfucking fur, even if they see it without the shells in it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, they would have seen that and be like, oh damn, this nigga got he got this nigga got pipe, bro. Like oh no, I didn't know you was gonna be moving like that. Who else say for her in America, especially? If we, yeah, man, man, man. We need to stop having that on our mind on it's so dangerous in America. And, man, I'm good. I'm good. I actually wanted to go to Africa just to search some family shit, you know, get my mind away for a second and not working. You know what I'm saying? I ain't working none of the time. I, was, I wasn't doing no working. I was chilling. You know what I'm saying? I was chilling. And um, America... It's, it's like this, man. The war is real, man. The war been on us the whole time not to come together. But it's changing people's perceptive, I mean perspective, when everybody is finding out. A lot of people is finding out that everybody ain't come from no Africa. You know what I'm saying? Everybody finding that out. And that's bringing a lot of brothers and sisters together. It's a lot of brothers, especially on TikTok, they going crazy. Like, there's a bunch of brothers and sisters coming together right now. Realizing, like, damn, hold on. I searched my paperwork too. I, my family have been here the whole time. But my family always told me that. Yeah, my grandma told me that. That past rest of soul. My grandma Mildred. My other grandma told me that. My daddy told me that. My mama told me that. My great grandparents told me. You know what I'm saying? This is stuff in our family. My uncles told me. My aunties told me. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that was in my family. I just didn't talk with them. I'm I just. Just trying to figure some shit out on my own and running out there, you know. I feel the same way about the DNA test, the same way I feel about me buying land from JT. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to say the DNA test people are scamming? Because it's evidence that's showing you that the DNA tests are fraud. They really can't, you can't get, they have to do blood tests. You can't get, you can't get a, a, a mouth swab. And then they telling you you from this tribe all the way across. They can't you can't do it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. But uh overall though, I feel the same way about that. I ain't have to take that damn test. I could have just talked to my family. I could have just started searching my damn records. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could have searched my records. I could have talked to my family at that time. And then I would have been good. But nah, I took a DNA test and went to Africa. But that's cool because it helped me to learn more. You know what I'm saying? And you live and you learn. You live and I, I ain't have to buy no land from JT before I came out. I ain't even know JT. I ain't know that he had going on. You live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? You live and you learn, man. That's how the ball bounce. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got my, my family got to have a good time, travel. <laughs> My babies at their past where they got to see all type of stuff, you know, chill, you know, relax, a whole different lifestyle. But I will tell you, man, I miss, I miss motherfuckers rolling down the street playing some dolph or some man, some playing some money bag, yo, some a young boy, you know what I'm saying? The smell of that smoke in the air, it was way different, you know what I'm saying? The, the coach is different, the way we move is different. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see a bunch of these walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? Some of them. A couple of them had some locks, but the majority of them like to cut their hair. They don't really like to grow their hair. They cut everything. They cut facial hair, 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 everything. The men and the women, the women, it was a lot of women with their hair cut too. It was a lot of them with their hair. But you know what I'm saying? The, the coach ain't the same. 
as how we used to doing things, you know, kicking it. No, but they do have a lot of clubs jamming though. They be in the club turned up. And I had fun in the clubs, you know what I'm saying? We kicked it. I like the club and I like just chilling in the village on the side of the street. You know, we used to be at uh, uh at one of the bros, he had a phone store. We'd be posted up at the phone store and we'd be drinking, we'd be drinking dolo. You know what I'm saying? That's the traditional wine that we got out there. It was good too. It was good. It went good in the capital. I got to the capital and I got to drinking they dolo. I was like, nah, that's when I, I start going to the store just buying me some wine and liquor because I'm like, ain't no way I'm drinking y'all dolo in the capital. That shit gave me the run. Like, nah, it ain't like the, the village dolo. African ancestry said, I'm from Burkina Faso too, Bissa. What's the native language? Not French. Uh, Bissa. Bissa, uh, Bissa language, that's the that's the uh, native language, Bissa. But they speak they speak a little bit of English, French. But they, yeah, that's what I be tripping off of. The, everybody say that, bro. Anybody, I ain't never heard nobody say, yeah, I got my test back. They say I'm Burkina Faso Masi. Why is everybody Bissa, bro? You see what I'm saying? Like, see that? That just that be a red flag to me, bro. That be a red flag to me, man. And then when we was out there. My wife wanted to get a DNA test. She wanted to take one. We couldn't get it sent out there. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't get it sent out there. That was another red flag. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Even the dude who behind African ancestry DNA, man, go, man, go watch it. I got, I got a, a posted about that. You know what I'm saying? Say so you go do it again. Okay, that's cool. You know, teach. I ain't saying I ain't down to nobody. Uh, for that neither, you know what I mean? But I will say, you know, search your family records, talk to your family too, you know what I'm saying? I was going through a lot, man. I was stressed out. I was just ready to get the hell up out of here for a minute, man. Then all the COVID shit was going on, and I was like, you know what, man? It's my time to get away for a second, man. Nigga was just stressed out every day. You know what I mean? Then the funny thing, I had just bought two cars before I left, and then I sold them. I had just one of and sold them, man. Gave my family so much stuff. Just let them have a bunch of shit. I ain't care about nothing. So that's another thing with me, man. It's like, uh, I ain't going to play with you if it's heads up. But money don't mean nothing to me, you know. But if it's something heads up, it's, it'll go there. You know what I'm saying? It'll definitely go there. It'll be like that. But it's something else, like, money, money don't mean nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? I done gave away so much shit, man. I showed them a lot of love in Burkina Faso. I showed them hella love, man. How much is the test? Uh, I, for, I forgot. It's been a minute now, man. I took that test like, what, 2019, 2020, something like that? Like four, three, four years ago. I don't even remember how much it was no more. They prices might have changed, too. I forgot. And I was looking at... uh. Who was that, bro? I forgot. I forgot the uh, the um the owner. Uh, I forgot his name when he was talking about that. Uh, I think it was at that time when um when he was like, Oprah, Oprah called me and said she was Zulu. Man, did you tell her that? He was like, No, nah, man. He was like, Well, tell her that she's Zulu, man. You ain't doing nothing back there making it up anyway. I was like, damn, this dude bold as hell. He was like, come on, man. You can't take some spit and find out you from a tribe. You know what I'm saying? It's straight bold with it. You know what I'm saying? Straight bold with it, man. I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? But it was crazy how they did the whole thing, you know. But, you know, you live and you learn, man. Just because someone has dark skin don't make them sub-Saharan Africa. Mine's came back Nigeria. I think I think uh, Lil Wayne was talking about his <laughs> he has had some uh, per, a percentage of Nigerian in it. Yeah, man. I know plenty of people from the Caribbean that'll let you know. Now nah, we always been in the Caribbean. We don't come from no we from we from the curves. We from the curves, but we always been here. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of bro. My, I know plenty of my family. This is not no thing. This is the day and age. Actually, it's fading away. You know, like all the Pan-African stuff and all of that. All this stuff is actually fading away right now. 
But in these days, like around around when I started learning about like the uh like the family in the Gambia and uh I forgot like what am I when I start learning about them and stuff like that, it was like this was the first time I I, I had heard things about us being from Africa, so I ain't never grew up on none of that. I ain't grew up with none of that, you know what I'm saying? Actually, when I was a little boy, we was actually going to Indian Mounds. That's when my auntie was taking us to Indian Mounds. We was going to Indian Mounds. I had been uh, doing all of this. You know, we had been talking about these things. That's when I grew older, just like steadily hearing about, you know what I'm saying? The African shit and all that. Came back. Damn, that's, that's something new. I ain't never heard of that one. I took my, came back. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, Bundu, Trap, and Angola. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's the first, that's the first I heard about that Angola. Test is 260 to 300. Damn. I wonder did I pay that much? Damn. That more crazy. That's a crazy price, bro. But yeah, man. That that 18 and 10 man, cuz Cuddy, man, they pissed off at each other right now. But man, 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 when I say when I say both them niggas had me booking up like I was like, man, let me, let me, uh, it might be, it might be worth it depending, you know what I'm saying, depending on what you want to do, you know what I'm saying, well, it's worth it to you, you know what I'm saying, what's worth, what's worth to me is having my family documents, because they also have slave voyage documents, so if you go find your records, and it's tell, tell you where you from, find your records then for the slave voyage find when your family got to america you know what i'm saying find all that all that's important if you just want to try if you just want to try and you just want the african land well that's cool you know do your thing but to me that, that type of thing is important you got it i i gotta know what my family get on the boat and this is the thing too that's why i was excited when i went to africa right because my battle was I, i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna be in africa right so while I'm here, they can give me this information on when my family got on the boat and when my family got took. No. Where did you go find the Slave Voyage document? You can go to Slave, it's, it's a government records. Go to slavevoyage.com. It might be .org. You know what I'm saying? You got to dig and search for it, man. What? Everybody to each their own, you know what I'm saying? They say, how do that? To each their own and how you want to move, you know what I mean? Because we're all different. Just like the J, back to JT, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> back to JT, right? Everybody is different on his situation. And you ain't going to hear nobody talking like me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, he, motherfuckers going off, you know what I'm saying? With me though, he ain't got the energy for me to be on him like that. Like, nah, man, I ain't never had no arguments with him or nothing either. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had no arguments with him or none of them. You know what I mean? I went never around him though. You know what I mean? I went never around him. But everybody else who came to Bikini Fossil, do you know how many times I was trying to tell people to come out to the village? Would nobody come out to the village? Would nobody come to Zabra? I had the best time in Zabra. I'm telling you right now, bro. I just had a bunch of little arguments with this one bro that was out there who was, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was kind of, he was kind of, you know, uh, helping me around, you know what I'm saying? Helping me around the village. They kind of had him thugging with me or whatever, but he ain't like the fact, he ain't like the fact on how I was moving. You know, he, he was like, he thought he'd be able to say something, and, you know, I'd just be like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying, here, here, like, 
And you think niggas dumb coming from my boy? Like, bro, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me like that. Nah, nigga, we ain't doing it like that. You know what I mean? Give, give my bread for that, too. And give my paperwork for this. And I want this like this. Now I'm going to go get this money. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I don't like that. Somebody try to play me. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. They had to hear a lot of things like that. Like, this is not new to you. Y'all y'all into it all the time. They be out in the village into it all the time, man. They be out there talking about each other. But it's not as bad as we are kind of perceiving. Because, you know, it moved to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? Out here is like, you know, America is like, it, when it's up. Ah, right, well, all right then. But they ain't going to move quick to throw no hands or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't moving quick to get in no shootout or nothing like that. You know what I mean? If, if the shootouts happen, it's the government just running in their shit. I done, I done heard a lot about that. that. That happened while I was out there, too. That was happening, bro. They was running in the villages, bro. Whacking motherfuckers and taking women and shit. While I was there, I was in Burkina Faso when this was happening. In the capital. But it's like the places that they was hidden, it was like on the outskirts a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of ways from the capital. So it'd be a lot of things going on, man. Yeah, Africa got a whole bunch of negatives. You better check up on it. You go out there. There's plenty of Americans died in Africa. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where they was taking the women. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was... uh. I don't know if it was for sexual stuff. I don't know if they was doing something that they, I don't know what was going on. I just heard about them snatching them up. Then I started hearing about it again. I heard about it again. I had posted it up like, I think it was like a month or two ago. I had heard about it again, like maybe two months ago. And I had posted about it again. They doing it again. But this was around the time, this was after, um, they had uh they was riding in the streets they was all riding and turned down buildings because they wanted to get the french government up out of there you know what i'm saying i lived in burkina faso for a whole year i ain't had no problem like that you know what i'm saying i was doing different things like uh i, I just know about a lot of things that was going on out there but i was out there you know what i mean that's what i'm saying Understand if you if you would think in your mind, I right, this Africa though, so I'm gonna go to Africa and boom boom bam. Don't ever say nothing about no cripple blood neighborhood or niggas got smoking shootouts every day. Niggas shit going down that work. It's about how you move and stop being afraid. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be afraid in America, man. You be, you, a lot of niggas be scared for real, you know what I'm saying? Why niggas be shaking for real, you know what I mean? A lot of people do be like this, you know what I mean? Trying to shake, trying to shake the spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to shake because they're afraid you gonna go to, go to somewhere else. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. You, you can, It's spots in Jamaica to go down, spots in Haiti to go down, it's spots in Africa to go down, spots in Europe to go down, spots in Asia to go down, anywhere you walk. This spots in Canada, you would get knocked off. You know what I mean? You just got to know how to move, man. And, you know, kind of have your mindset on a different on a different thing. But uh, overall, man, it was an adventure, you know what I'm saying? I learned a lot, bro. And I had some good times out there. I had some good times. I had some times that pissed me off. But the times that pissed me off, I had nothing to do were brothers and sisters from America. The only thing that did piss me off was uh, it pissed me off when JT and um Queen L started getting into it. Then Cuz Cuddy had started having his own little problems out there too. And then you know they shook the Kenya. Then Queen L was doing her thing out there for a minute. Then she shook to another country. And I'm like, God damn, we was actually we was actually building up. And it was like everything just crumbled. Everything just crumbled, bro. I thought it was going to be something else. And then, I, for a surprise, everything just went through the roof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, run into Queasy Boy. I remember, I remember that name. 
I remember the name. I'm trying to think because I probably did. I don't know though, but I do remember that name. Yeah, I felt freedom though because it was like um. I felt freedom because it was just like uh, it was a different type. I ain't gonna say it was like no freedom, like you know, my life is preserved. It was like freedom, like I was on a nice ass vacation. I ain't no telling how long I for to be on the vacation. It was that kind of freedom. I told my daddy about that. I was telling my daddy there. I was thinking about not coming back with it. My daddy even started bugging. I'm like, damn, I thought he was taking a trip, son. And I was like, nah, daddy. I was, <laughs> I was for the shake. You know what I'm saying? But it was a peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? Just to be chilling, you know, taking care of business. You know, my kid, oh, yeah, I was uh, paying for my kids' homeschooling out there, too. The big thing uh, about they homeschool in America versus out there was I just wanted them to get into uh learning the French, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it wasn't like, it wasn't nothing he could teach my kids, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I had everything lined up for my kids. I just wanted them to get their French down pretty good. And, you know, we was doing pretty good. They they learned the Bissa, you know what I'm saying? I learned Bissa. I learned Bissa real, real good. You no, know, I learned the French real good. I spoke French out there decent, you know what I'm saying? But for overall, though, like, you wouldn't think uh, uh, that many people could speak English real good. They could speak English, bro. They 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 go over time. They be knowing English, French, and Bissell. And, uh, French, uh, French, Mossy, and English. Like, it be like that. Like, don't, don't be, like, come on now, bro. Let's say you come to my hood, right? You from always somewhere else. You come to my hood. You think we could have let you know the lingo? We're not going to let you know the lingo like that, bro. You're not going to get the play? Yeah, we going to say a couple of things. We might teach you a couple of things. We got lingo here, bro. We America got lingo. My hood got lingo. My city got lingo. We got our own tongue. You know what I'm saying? That we speak. That you ain't going to know what we talking about. And it's go like this from city to city. I go down to Atlanta and I run into some real Atlanta niggas. I might not know everything, you know what I'm saying? I go over to Cali, they got their own, you know, you go over to New York, they got their own, and they might be calling you a dumbass, but they might say, say it in a different way. This is all around. I guarantee you, you, you come to St. Louis, man, you're going to be like, damn, I don't know what these niggas talking about. I don't know what they saying. Yeah, we got our own lingo, too. They got their own lingo. They got some little stuff. They got their own little tongue of how they move. You know what I'm saying? But I had start catching on. I had start, they was looking like, damn, this nigga is catching on quick. Yeah, within two months, I had picked up on all that. You know what I mean? Then I was teaching, uh, I was, oh, uh, no, I ain't never, I ain't never, uh, I ain't never seen him in person, but, uh, I ain't never, I do it, and that's who it was. That's who Queasy Boy was. Yeah, I ain't never seen him in person, but, um, yeah, I had been watching him for a while. Or Kathy had the blues out there, bro. She was doing very well. She was doing her thing. She was rolling. She had her little moments. I forgot who she was even getting into it at that time. But pay attention to them things, man. Don't be thinking uh, bad things is happening. And uh, they just don't know how to move out. Nah, nigga, it's going down. A lot of the times, they don't like that attention you get in man. In their country, you know what I'm saying? You coming, you in their country, and you know, you you doing, you you turning up like that. They don't like that. How you think it's gonna go down in your in where where you from? That somebody just come in and they just shining. They just turned up, they just pop up in your city or in your hood or something like that, and they lit. Every time you see them, they doing they good. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have a problem. They be having little problems with that, you know what I'm saying? That's that's Another thing to be paying attention to, don't think I brought a bag, I was good. So, the way they was looking at me, like, man, how this nigga out here with five kids and a white man, this nigga ain't trying to do nothing. He on the internet all the time, he be going live, and 
and he got money for everything. Because at first I was pulling out stacks. I came, I came with stacks. So when I came there, it was like, you know, I give him a look. It was going with cash at first, you know what I'm saying? Transferred the money or whatever. And it was like, I just always had it. And to the point I ran out of it, then I had to start getting on my car. Then I found out how to start using the ATM and shit like that. But it was just like, they was just looking at it like, this nigga money just ain't ending, bro. That bothered them too. Because they be having to do other things to get the money. But we live different. You see what I'm saying? Because you got things. You know what I mean? If it was real love, man, you should have a spot when you pull up. You know what I'm saying? We we'll do people like that. Americans do people. That's how much love we got, man. That's how we get fucked from everybody. Everybody fuck us, man. Everybody fuck us, man. We that nice of a people. You come to America, you let us know, we're going to have a spot for you. We're going to have a spot for you, man. Much love, Lala. Hey, Tim, I miss you, Bikini Fossil, Brad, Brad, say, shout out, much peace and love. Yeah, man, I had a good time. I be talking, I be still talking to uh, brothers and sisters from Bikini Fossil, too. Just because I have my, I, I want y'all to know, just because I have things that I, uh, I could say, um, is red flags about Africa, just like you would throw red flags about America, I'm still cool with hella people from Africa. I, I talked to people from Africa before I was even in Africa. I got hell. I, I know hella Africans that's in America. You know what I'm saying? I know plenty of Africans, man. They ain't never been like, uh, no down, nothing like that. But we got to keep it real, right? You got to keep it real all the time, man. Keep it real, you know. But uh, what's going on? Like, uh, I say, I had, like, I ran across this dude named, this was like, I had just ran across this dude, too, like, uh, Pew, Pew 2 TV or something like that. I don't know if he ever, I, I don't know if he ever been out there or whatever, you know, uh, I don't know if he ever went to Africa or nothing like that. I don't know how, this is so much of a confusion to me, bro. But overall, you know, I ain't got no size. I ain't got no nothing like, hey, bro, y'all handle y'all business. How y'all go handle y'all business? And I'm going to keep playing ball like I play ball, you know what I'm saying? But it's much peace and love to everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I don't see how it's go, you know what I'm saying? Who that, who that, uh, Pew 2? I don't know. I don't know nothing. I just, I seen them, I seen them pop up. And I heard them talk about, who is this? I'm like, who, who was, was he? What? I thought he probably went to Kenya or something. I don't man, I was just lost. That's how I was when I saw ATN Ten. My ATN Ten, who was that? Then I had seen, you know, him and Africa. I'm like, okay, I ain't know, I ain't know nothing about him at first. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I ain't get confused. It's like a lot of things I say. I I will say that it's like a lot of things that I do see, bro. A lot of things that I do see and a lot of things that uh, I be hearing about, it just be seeming like it's causing a little confusion on things. I don't know if it's confusion, so it don't be a focus on JT, because I ain't tripping off of JT or his money and nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's for that factor or I don't know if it's real or if it's... If it if it is real, but at the same time, they got because I'm still learning like a, on earth, like Pew Two. Like I'm looking at all this, like bro, what the hell is really going on, bro? Relationship between African and African. It depends on what you mean by the relationship. You're talking about like how we feel about each other, or is you talking about like like a relationship, relationship with like a man and woman or something like that? Because if you're talking about like how we feel about each other, man, it's the same as niggas anywhere, man. You can stay on your toes. Stay watchful. But in Africa, it's like sneaky smoke. It ain't like, it ain't like heads up smoke. The smoke will be different. It's like some sneaky smoke. You know what I'm saying? It's like They'll try to get over on you or something like that, whatever. Or try to try to bust a quick play. Just this this is a quick story. I'll give I'll give a quick example. 
this one time when I had got my motorcycle in the village, right? When I had got my motorcycle in the village, uh, the brother had helped me get the motorcycle. He thought that it was going to be like, if he, if I needed something, he could just go get it for me. And it's my motorcycle and he go keep the motorcycle. I'm like, nigga, bring my damn motorcycle here, nigga. And give me my damn paperwork, nigga. What you talking about? You ain't gonna be driving on a motorcycle, nigga. Like, nah, yeah, quit playing. Like, if it's something like that's what they be on, you know, like you gotta get in their ass sometime. But you know, uh, it'd be cool, man. It'd be plenty of love. I had plenty of talks with brothers and sisters, had great times, great talks, you know, some real talks. You know what I mean? But other than that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you just got some sneaks. But <laughs> you got some of us we sneak, but other way around, America, we ain't sneaking shit. We only we point blank range, right in your face, you know it's finna go down. You know what I'm saying? Nigga up the up a gun in your face or swing on you right there, you know, be right on your ass. So was he really selling land the land there? Uh I don't know if you I don't know if you're talking about uh like, was he selling land to other people or did he sell the whole thing? Because, yeah, I heard he sold the whole thing, but he really was selling plots of other land. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'll, I'll put it like, shout out to Dan Calloway. I say he just had some pop up again. Shout out Dan Calloway, man. Shout out Dan Calloway. I know people hate to hear that name. But uh, I was looking, I looked at it like this uh, at a point, man, where... I looked at it like he when he bought the land, and I would throw him his flower. I throw I throw fig his flowers on this right here, right? When he was talking, he was like, "Nigga, this is my land. I can sell it how I want to." Correct. That's correct. You can cut it. You can cut your piece of how you want to cut it. It's yours, bro. You right. You right. What had came to my mind was. It's not no plots you got. Like, all right, this your plot, this your section right here. We go cut this. It's not like that. It's just like, all right, he got a land, and you just gave him some money, and you would have a right to be on the land, but the, the downfall is when you don't get the deeds, when you don't get the paperwork, that's the problem. That's the only problem I ever had, like, and but I ain't even tripping off of it. It's just like, like you grab the motherfucker a, a stack of paper and just be like, man, fuck it, throw all the paper in the air. That's how I'm with it. Like, man, fuck it all, bro. I ain't even tripping off of none of that. But fuck it all, fuck all of it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I say, uh, I don't know how many people thought about it that way, but that's why I have land and I have my land in paperwork. You know, I'm the only reason why I ain't showed y'all my land paper. I don't want to show y'all. <laughs> All my uh documents on the paper so I could prove to you I got my land with paperwork, not from JT. Land that I went and bought myself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I'm trying to figure out, you know, actually what I want to do on it, because I actually wanted to get some business done on it and uh build a little cool little spot. But I wanted to build a little spot for when when uh when I utilize the land. It, it could be for multiple and not just me, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody can pull up and do some business with brothers and sisters out there too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, how business can go, you know, how, how you can get it going, you know, you do your best, you know? Just say it, it looks, it feels like JT, government informant. Hey, I, I, I ain't going to never, um, I ain't going to never say them type of things ain't possible. I ain't gonna never say it's not possible. I'm gonna just say, I don't know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Did you buy land in the capital? Yeah, I bought land, I bought my land in the capital. Well it's it's, it's not directly in the capital. It's like it's like one mile out outside of the capital. It's like one mile outside of the capital. And I bought my land there and um uh, it's nice too, man. It's it's a nice little land, and I got the paperwork. Um, all the payments is done. I got all the payment records, you know. So everything signed off. I got the paperwork. I've been to the land. 
I actually recorded the video on it too, uh, and I had posted it up a little minute ago. And I don't know if nobody uh remember it. they probably remember it now, but no, I might post it up again, like another little short, so everybody could just see the land that I did buy. You know, I got the paperwork for it and everything. But yeah, I took care of business though. It's the land in hectares. I, I forgot how they uh. I forgot the measurements. Uh, I do that too. I go back into the paperwork just so I could uh, so I could show you how much uh, how, how much it was and everything. I forgot how what the hell they had said. Well, I think it was. I remember that word because it wasn't really like the way we think about land. They they talk about it in they they acres and they split and then cut up and then everything a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, okay. I forgot how much it was, though. I forgot exactly how much land I even bought. It's a nice amount, though. It's a nice little amount of land. It was a nice area. It was a lot of fruits and vegetables. Like, they, it wasn't just grown on its own. They, they had some farms, like, not too far from the land. So I'm like, oh, okay. It was a nice area, man. It's like 11 acres in the U.S. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know all the fancy words, man. I forgot, I forgot, but I'm going to look back into it. I'll make that my mission. And you know what I'm saying, around the next live, you know, uh, I'll be probably getting into, I might, I might uh, take a picture of my paperwork and then just wipe some things out so too much information don't be out there and shit, you know what I'm saying? So y'all will be able to see. I may... I made four payments on it. I had to make four payments because, like, you can only get so much money y'all out the ATM in Burkina Faso. So, um, a day too, you know what I'm saying? So I could have did it. They just let me get all of it out of one day. I could have paid for it, but I just went on ahead, did four payments on it, knocked that on out, got all my paperwork done, you know, got my land deed and everything. So. Next time I'll show y'all how uh, one of the paperwork looks so y'all be able to see and everything, man. It, it felt good. It felt good. Now, if it was like that, right? Because right? it could have been like, all right, JT, like, all right, y'all got the land. Now, this is my land. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this paper and I'm going to make a line at the bottom from JT. And then you put your name right there. You sign right there. And then what we'll do is, right here on the corner, we'll put how much of it you got. You see what I'm saying? Like something like that. Then it'd be like, all right, you got your paper. It got his signature on it, your signature. Got your land that you bought. Then it, it wouldn't be nothing nobody could say to you. But since it ain't like that, nobody can really say nothing for real. But at the same time, you know what? Uh... I know people go make a battle for it, but it's going to be a tough uphill battle. That's why the Rico thing was kind of confusing to me. I don't know how it's going to go, man. Oh, it go up and down. It go up and down. You know what I'm saying? You might go, it might, it might be like, you might find a nice amount of land for about, you know, you might come out a nice amount of land for about two bands. Uh... You might you might get a nice amount for five five bands. Uh, they got big they got big plots, man. It depends on how you want to come with it. They got they got they got plenty of land for sale. They got plenty of land for sale, man. You can be buying plenty of land, plenty of land. It go up and down, like it go through the bands. You know what I'm saying? So it, man, it depends on how you coming. So that's why I'm, I got to figure out. Uh, I forgot. How much, but I got the land plot, the land area, you know. That feel good, man. Just to took care of that, man. So it, it, I say to myself, when I start thinking to myself like that, maybe JT just got it like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. You know, basically gave him the money, you got your land, but it's not like the correct way. Like, I right, I'm, I'm this is my signature right here. I right, put your signature. I right, and this your portion. It ain't like that where you got no paper. I feel better doing it my way. That's why I did it that way. You know what I'm saying? I feel better that way. I got paperwork. I got my papers. I signed off. 
Everything took care of. It's all mine. Chalky be still hit me up. Like, man, you need to come in. And so we can start building this and then the third, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I'm, I'm going to be back, you know what I'm saying, and, and take care of business. But you know what I'm saying? I just got other things to take care of first, man. I Like, I really don't even know. I might, I'm, I might sell the window. Somebody come with a good play. I could sell you the paperwork. I have it. It's all mine. I have it. And I could sell it. And you will get actual land deeds. You know what I'm saying? You will get actual paperwork. But... You know, that's why I'm like, if it prolong, then I just try to sell the land. But it's good that I can sell it. And I can sell the whole land. Shit, it motivate me too. JT sold his land. Shit, I know I can get that motherfucker off and sell it and get some bread out of it if he did it. So that make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? I, I better sell the land if I want to then. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on it and think about it. You know what I'm saying? See how, see how I'm going to... Uh, See how I'ma do it. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back in America right now. Much peace and love, Queen. Much peace and love. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Beautiful long-term investment. Yeah, man. Cause I looked at it like I could do. To see, look, man. Listen to this, man. I already got land in America. I got plenty of land in America. You know what I'm saying? This is my family land. You know, I got a lot of land in America. It's our land, so. To go to Africa, I got land there. I want to go to Jamaica, and if if I'm blessed to be able to uh, get some land out there, that's another blessing. Do you understand what you can do? You know what I'm saying? If you're able to move, you're able to move around. I can go to Africa. I'm gonna come back to America. I can go down to the Caribbean. You know, I can go back up to America, or I can go straight from the Caribbean over to Africa. You know what I'm saying? I can go from Africa, come back to the Chris. Maybe I got something going back and forth from there for a second. I'm going to be back in America for about a year. After that, I come. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what my mind that You know what I'm saying? With it on how things I could do. Because we all over the earth. The earth is ours. For real. These people that you see, these Orientals and these YT people, these folks is coming from caves and far, far places. They ain't from here. This is all ours. All the lands are ours. We indigenous from all lands. There's black people from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? There's black people from everywhere, nigga. You know what I mean? That's what we don't know. So, yeah, so make your way around. Travel around. I don't I don't have no uh I don't really have no no uh no thing to go to like Europe or something like that. You know what I'm saying? There ain't, ain't really no thing like in my mind. I don't want to go no Europe, Russia, Asia, nothing like that. You know what I mean? I don't really want to go to Canada neither. For real, the only thing be on my mind is America, the Caribbean, and Africa. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. You know what I mean? Africa, you know, I want to go to a couple of other places like uh, like Ethiopia. I had a good-ass time, so I like to go pop back up there, go chill. You know what I mean? I don't really want. I don't. I don't. I don't like the way they be planted in South Africa. So that made me not want to go to South. Africa. I don't want to go for them South Africa. They out there with signs, picking signs, and acting like. See, see, everybody, everybody sleep on us though. Everybody sleep on us, and they say we from Africa. But guess what? They gonna be saying about South Africa? Where they gonna be saying they from soon? White folks taking y'all shit too. Yeah, they getting y'all too. And I've been hearing about this. I remember, uh, I remember way back when Nelson Mandela was going through all that shit and all that. Now y'all becoming, y'all becoming disappeared. Not soon. They gonna be saying, where the hell is they gonna be saying Africa's from? Where they, where they gonna be saying y'all from in a little bit? You got Asians out there. You got white folks out there. They taking y'all shit over heavily. So where y'all for to be from this? That's how they doing us. That's why everybody look confused in America. They trying to take Haiti. They try to take the Caribbeans all together. They try to take South America. You know what I'm saying? You see, uh, first, first thing you think about when you hear Asia will come to your mind when you think about the people of Asia. 
but the original people of Asia look just like you. Europe too. Europe too. Russia. Yeah. Play. This is playing ball, man. You gotta understand. That's why, I like, it got bigger. But I know originally my family just come from America, man. But it's good to travel and talk to other brothers and sisters and other places doing different things, and you get to figure things out. Damn right. It's time for everybody to take their homes. You know what I'm saying? It's like a uh, like you know Polynesian brothers and. Just like in Hawaii, you know, how, man, man, this has been going on for a long time, you know what I'm saying? But little by little, you just get erased and overtaken little by little. You know more, the original, no more. The original's no more, and it's a new face, you know what I'm saying? That's taking your place. Before I get out, this is the last thing. I feel to get ready to shake up out of here. Much peace and love to everybody who pulled up. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed the live. Shout out to everybody who pulled up. But when you get a chance, you make sure you research Martin Luther King. Civil rights movement. Search the documents and find out who the civil rights was about. All right? Much peace and love.